Well, we're here in St. Jude's Hampstead recording the early version of Bach's St. Matthew Passion. Uh, we're on day five now and it's uh, been a very rewarding experience. Performing and recording the version that he did first in 1727 when he was in Leipzig. Uh, and it's substantially different in a number of respects, both small and great. The thing, the thing about music and musicians at that time is they were completely practical and, and we have this idea that a work is finished. That wasn't the case then. Uh, you, you suited the work to, to fit the place and time. And when he came to perform it later, he had different circumstances. He maybe had more performers and he had some different ideas. There was no such thing as a sort of fixed piece of music then. A piece of music was always developing and uh, that's something which we in the 21st century have a difficult time with. As far as the notes go, there are a few significant differences uh, regarding passing notes, ornaments, which aren't there in, the, in this early version. And there's one whole chorus which is uh, missing, which normally goes at the end of the, of the first half. The whole piece seems to be more uh, fleet of foot, if you, if you, if you like. There's a, there's a lightness about it, a transparency about it, which is uh, wonderful. I find a lot of things sharper in focus and more, more dramatic in colour. Um, whereas in the later version, things have been softened up with appoggiaturas and, and more rococo ornaments. So uh, generally I find some things are a little bit more shocking and a bit, bit clearer. <laughs> 